Let's transition to UCLA. Nick Cronin's Bruins, they were the statement team a week ago, gentlemen. Let's begin with Terrence Oglesby. Guys, there hasn't been a team more impressive over the past week than UCLA. They're guarding what they did at Maryland uh, for a Kevin Willard team at Maryland that has been playing remarkably well. They beat the brakes off of them in College Park. And then they go up and follow that up with another really good performance. Like UCLA is playing better than anybody right now. So they are the second team that I'm giving a time machine to. Why? Because if you started the NCAA tournament right now, I'm picking UCLA to win the national championship. Much like Jeff Goodman. I knew you were coming with it. Much like, <laughs> Je much like Jeff Goodman uh, picked at the beginning of the season. Kudos to you. If they keep this up, we'll see. I don't know who in the world beats them. I'm going to give them a Nintendo Switch 12-month online membership. Jalen Clark, after the Kentucky game, says, we just want to be happy, have a happy ride home, and play Super Smash Bros. They come to the East Coast. They beat Maryland. They beat Kentucky. Different time zone. So whatever they're doing is working. Let's get them another. Let's, let's extend them. I know the NIL is different now. Kids can do, you know, they can afford this type of stuff. But when I was in school, that would have been a nice little thoughtful gift. So that's what I'm giving UCLA. They're playing well. Nothing bad to say about them. Hey, was did Harrison Barnes beat your ass in Super Smash Brothers? Be honest. Harrison was we were Harrison wasn't playing video games. Harrison was, you know. Oh, no, he did. You're wrong. I see, hung out with him for a day. See, he that's the thing. He never showed us the video game side. I saw really? the saxophone, you know. Wow. Buttoned up side, you know. But as like we got older, you know, definitely a little more. But yeah, I never saw him video. I never saw him play video games. Never did. He taught me how to play Super Smash Brothers. I'm gonna right, shoot him so. a text and say, "Wow, you were play Super Smash Bros." Like I he's thought, holding out. He was holding out. Yeah, I tell was at his wedding. Like I'm like, yo, I thought I was your guy, you know. So all right, let let's get back on track. UCLA, uh, UCLA. To me, it's it's depth. It's it's somebody off the bench. It, it's twofold. To me, it, depth is the number one. They got David Singleton. Who's, every time he shoots the ball, by the way, I think it's going in. Every single time. Uh, so Singleton is really good off the bench as a shooter, but they need one more dude. One more dude, and maybe it's Dylan Andrews. I don't know. And then the other thing is for Adam Boner to stay out of foul trouble because he's averaging like three and a half fouls a game, and he plays like 18, 19 minutes. So he's got to stay out of foul trouble, especially because of my first deal, which is their lack of depth. So Amari Bailey, for me, I would give him confidence on the offensive end of the floor. He's playing good minutes, mm -hmm. but he's had three straight performances where he's really been a non-factor offensively. So I think it's really the power of the freshman. That's the gift that, that I would give UCLA is if, is if I could come down the chimney and say to Adam Bona and Amari Bailey, you have it in you to make this team Final Four worthy. You guys just have to have the confidence there because your coach certainly has. Mick Cronin has never talked more highly about freshmen than he has talked about this freshman class. I mean, he, he's been so high on them. And then I would give Mick Cronin a, a tanning booth trip. I just want to see what Mick would look we'll like. Find out where Tom Crean goes. He lives goes. in Los Angeles. Just ask him where Tom Crean goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but T.O., the L.A. sun doesn't work for him. Like, it's not powerful enough. Don't I don't think he sees it. I don't think he sees it. I agree with that. That's very true. Very true. He probably doesn't. And I would send him some Skyline Chili because I know he likes it. And he doesn't get a dose of it in Los Angeles. I'd send him some Skyline Chili. I just want to see what Mick would look like upon getting out of a tanning booth. And you're right. He can ask I give him Xanax to calm him down, Mick, on the sideline. 